Hello and welcome to this TechniCourse tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to integrate Zapier into CloudFunnels. At some point, you may want to integrate other apps such as your autoresponders into CloudFunnels, and the easiest way to do that is through Zapier. To access the Zapier integration, go to the sidebar and select Zapier integration. An authorization token is automatically generated. You can change that by clicking the Change Auth Token button. And to proceed with the integration, click on Create Zap. This opens the Zapier platform in a separate browser tab, and if you're not already logged in, you'll be asked to do so. The message here confirms your invitation to use CloudFunnels on Zapier. To proceed, scroll down and click Accept Invite. From the Zap's dashboard, click on the icon that says Make a new Zap. If you don't already see CloudFunnels presented here in the built-in apps section, just type in the app name here, CloudFunnels and you'll see CloudFunnels indicated by invite. So go ahead and click on that. Next, we have to select a triggering event. If we select the dropdown, we'll see that we're limited only to get leads for selected pages. So we'll select that one. And then we can click continue. Next, we'll have to sign into CloudFunnels. So go ahead and click the sign in button. And now we're asked for the authentication token. So let's go back to CloudFunnels and we'll copy the authentication token by clicking the token and it will automatically copy to our clipboard. Then we can go back to the Zapier authentication and paste our token in here. And then click yes to continue. Zapier confirms the authentication token and then we can click continue. Zapier is now going to test our trigger Zapier will search CloudFunnels to find some recent leads to confirm that the right account is connected and the trigger is set up correctly. So go ahead and click Test Trigger. And you can see that it found some leads in our CloudFunnels account. And here's the username, Bill Gates. And we can just check our CloudFunnels account and check our funnel here. And under Membership Test here, we can view our opt-ins from the registration page. And this shows us that indeed Bill Gates was one of our opt-ins. So Zapier did collect the proper leads. So let's scroll down now to continue. Next, we're gonna select the app that we want Zapier to bridge to. So let's scroll down and there are a variety of apps that are built into Zapier, as well as popular apps that we may integrate with. In this case, we're going to select MailChimp. And now that we've chosen the target app, we can select the action. And what we're going to do is add or update subscriber. And pretty much whatever app you choose to use Zapier to integrate CloudFunnels with, what we're gonna be doing is transferring leads to adding subscribers. So we'll click add update subscriber and then continue. Next, we'll need to sign into MailChimp. So whichever platform it is you're targeting, just go ahead and enter your credentials there, login and password, and then go ahead and log in. This confirms that Zapier will be allowed access to the account. So we'll scroll down and click allow. And Zapier confirms the connection. Now we can click continue. Now we just have to inform Zapier how we want the data mapped from CloudFunnels to MailChimp. So let's select the MailChimp choose value and we will select the audience is tutorials. So we'll select this field here to select the email field for data. Next, we can choose double opt-in if we choose and if the subscriber already exists, it'll be overwritten with the new data, we can either check that for no or leave it at yes. We can specify what changes we want made to groups and interests. We can specify a language code. We can assign tags to the subscriber. Here under first name, we'll select the bubble. And then here we'll select which field we want assigned to first name. So in this case, our form is, has collected name, email, and ID. So we'll select name for first name. Because we haven't specified last name, we'll skip that. 
address we can skip because we haven't collected that information. And all of our required fields are complete, so we can click continue. Now we can test the link by sending the subscriber to MailChimp, or we can skip. So in this case, we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll go ahead and test and review first. And we can see the subscriber was successfully sent. Now we'll scroll back down and retest and continue. And at the bottom, now we can select done editing. And our zap is ready. So now we just have to activate it by turning the zap on. And the zap is activated. Now using Zapier to connect cloud funnels to MailChimp. So let's go to my zaps. And here we can see the cloud funnels MailChimp zap is turned on. And there is one final step that we want to be sure to take to ensure that Zapier receives all of our cloud funnels leads. So from the funnels, we will find our registration page. And here we'll open our registration page settings. And we want to be sure that we activate the send leads to Zapier option here on the page settings. And this is page specific. So now all the opt-ins that this registration page receives will be automatically sent to Zapier, which will then forward them to MailChimp. And we want to be sure that we do that for every single one of our pages that we want to forward and save the settings. Then here under the funnels and sites, when we check our opt-ins, we can see the opt-ins per page, and we know that these registration page opt-ins were indeed sent to Zapier. And that's how you set up CloudFunnels integrations with Zapier. I hope you found this useful. Thanks very much for watching.